What does life and marriage have in common? If you look at an individual, right? Uh, look at yourself, for example. You were born, you were a baby. You needed milk, nutrition, food, uh, love, care. You started to grow. You know, you became a toddler. Then you became a young child. Eventually, you entered puberty, right? You went through all these changes. And then you became a young adult. You know, you did high school. You Maybe you went to university. Maybe you got your first job. You got your driver license, all of that stuff. And then uh, eventually, you became fully developed adult who's self-sufficient and is able to um, sustain on his own. He moved out of your parents' house and all, 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 the, all the different milestones that we go through in life. Now, your marriage is no different. Your marriage has different stages, right? So first there's the honeymoon stage where everything is nice and beautiful. You love each other um, and, and there's no problems. Everything's happy. And then eventually the truth comes out around how you show up, how she shows up. And um, you enter a different stage in your marriage. Then you have your first kid, right? Maybe your second kid, your third kid. Maybe your wife stay at home. Maybe she works. Maybe you work full time. Um, all kinds of different scenarios in this uh, evolution of a marriage. Um, and uh, you buy your first house or you, you know, move to a different place. You find new jobs. Maybe you start your business. You take different risks. Um, your wife enters, you know, uh, menopause. Um, you have some event that takes place. Maybe you have depression, anxiety, and you need to solve that. And, you know, the years go by. And so if you look at life and if you look at marriage, it's no different in terms of how there's different stages and milestones. And you need to be able to handle each one of those milestones within your marriage. Each one of them will come with different caveats. And you need to understand that um, the circumstances might be different, but the way to handle circumstances comes down to one or two handfuls of uh, tools, right? So uh, when you start to get clear on things like your terms, your purpose, context, pulling your bullets, letting her manage, bulletproof apologies, rebuilding and maintaining trust, um, how to prioritize your actions as a man. When you start to get clear on this stuff, those tools will allow you to navigate anything in the marriage. So it doesn't matter what stage your marriage is at. Maybe you've been married for one year, two years, maybe 20, 30 years. These tools allow you to navigate that and to not be a victim of your circumstances. Okay. If you want more info and you know you want to actually take a deep dive into what this looks like, then reach out and uh, we'll get you set up. Okay. All right. Cheers.